In a pivotal milestone in space exploration, the Indian Space Research Organization is set to launch its space docking experiment SpadeX today. Now, this mission will use PSLB C60 lifting off at uh, 2158 IST. It's now been changed, postponed to actually 2200 hours from Sri Harikota. It is a pioneering mission aimed to establish India's capability in orbital docking. SpadeX will deploy two identical satellites. Key objectives include performing precision rendezvous and docking maneuvers, validating power transfer between docked spacecraft and operating payloads post-undocking with a two-year lifespan. This capability is vital for India's lunar and interplanetary missions. Docking technology enables multi-launch missions and supports future human spaceflight. Only the United States, Russia and China have so far mastered the advancements in this field. Okay, our correspondent Ritesh Ranjan is joining us from Chennai. Uh, Ritesh, uh, what can you tell us about the countdown so far? Well, uh, yeah, according to ISRO sources, uh, all uh, test and all necessary test and uh, verification has been done. Now. Uh, we are uh, supposed to be launch it and uh, you know uh, it was supposed to be launched at 9.58 p.m. But uh, uh, there is no reason it, we have been told but it has been extended to 10 p.m. today it will be launched. And the most important thing is after uh, China, Russia and America, India would be the first, uh, uh, India would be the fourth country who can actually, uh, who will actually expert, uh, you know do this uh, docking and undocking facility. Uh, experiment in uh, the orbit of uh, you know uh, and the, uh, the most important part is you know the Indian Space Center what we are uh, you know we are uh, uh, aiming to build up and uh, we have planned to make it by 2035 so yeah. I think it is a milestone for this and this technology okay. uh, you know when we are success after the successful launch of this we will see that uh, there is a milestone we are keeping and step ahead for this uh, Bharat. Uh, but Ritesh, how long center. is how long is this mission expected to take from start to finish? Well, uh, uh, this uh, will take uh, uh, from cast. Uh, it will take a uh, few minutes time to reach there. But then, docking and undocking that is most a crucial part and challenging part for Ishro. And uh, as per the, uh, you know, the information what we have received from 6 to 10 of January, this docking uh, and undocking uh, mm. experiment will take place in the uh, uh, space. Okay. And uh, important part is the bo both the satellite has to come to the zero velocity. Then only, it, you know, the docking uh, thing will take place. Otherwise, it is very difficult and that is what is the challenging part. ISRO scientists were telling that, you know, uh, they, uh, they have done all experiments. And uh, one more thing I wanted to actually tell you that, you know, there is a first time any private uh, space research, uh, research company have been engaged to test this kind of thing. And okay. that private company is uh, owned by one of the former ISRO scientists only. Okay, we leave it there. Thank you very much, Ritesh Ranjan, for joining us from Chennai with that update. And now, uh, Dr. Ajay Lele, who is a space expert, is also joining us uh, with uh, an analysis of this. Uh, Dr. Lele, uh, you know, why is space docking important? Particularly, if I have to put things in context from India's point of view, on 18th of September, uh, just a few months back, uh, the government of India, the cabinet, uh, allowed ISRO to continue with four major projects. One is that they want an updation of the Gaganyan program. Other is that we want to go for a Venus mission. And the third is uh, we want to have uh, our own space station also. Uh, so these are the experiments which are going to take place over a period of time. For all these experiments, except the mission to Venus, you require docking systems. Uh, docking systems are basically required. Uh, our Chandrayaan-4 mission which is going to take place mm -hmm. uh, is going to be uh, another experiment of docking only because we do not have the capacity to uh, put very heavy satellites out into the space. So this mission will go part by part. So first one satellite will be launched 
subsequently one more satellite will be launched and their merging will be done into a space so that is what docking is about when right. two systems will come in close vicinity and merge with each other uh, as far as international space station is concerned whenever a spacecraft goes towards the international space station carrying astronauts again a docking happens uh, with that spacecraft to the international space station so that uh, astronauts can go from the rocket inside to the space station and vice versa the astronauts who are supposed to come back from that uh, to the, back to the earth so when right. india is going to have its own space station this technology is also going to be important in the initial stages i think the first stage is that we will like to have success with this technology particularly from chandrayaan 4 mission all right but uh, dr lele as uh, ritesh was telling us uh, that you know there has to be zero velocity and stuff like that so what kind of technology is uh, required to achieve space docking uh, you see there are different types of technologies which are required for the purposes of a space docking it depends on what is the purpose which you are doing it if you are going to transfer humans from rocket to the space station there is a slightly different type of a technology because you require the same type of atmosphere which is there inside the space station along with the rocket also here that sort of a requirement is not there again it depends on which orbits you are going to undertake the docking uh, we are planning to undertake a docking in a circular orbit which is a relatively one can say a easier option right now uh, we have chosen this because this is for the first time we are trying to test this technology now what's going to happen is that there are two satellites which will be launched tonight both these satellites will be positioned almost at the same altitude then they will be separated by a distance of around 20 kilometers and slowly as it was said that around second or uh, end of first week of january these right. satellites try to come very close to each other these satellites will be traveling at a uh, speed of around uh, 28000 kilometers per hour uh, when you want to have a relative velocity where the speeds will come almost zero then the docking will take place so this is going to be very challenging mission i think today's launch will be a just a technical launch because isro right. knows pretty well that how to launch satellites by using pslb the real challenge which is going to come up is only on 6th uh, sub, uh, 6th january onwards okay. when actually the docking is going to take place Uh, Dr. Lele, also, you know, the time is postponed by two minutes because of a likely conjunction with other satellites. So, I mean, the concern is uh, you talked about the speed of satellites being moved uh, that they're moving around in space. Have we already reached a stage where there are too many satellites out there? Yeah, yeah, space is already overcrowded, particularly in a low Earth orbit where we are going to launch these satellites. You see, what happens is that ISRO works on a software which they have built up about the space debris uh, system. where we get a early warning uh, there is a space situational awareness network along with the us air force which issues the warnings based on that based on our requirements iso has updated the software and based on that they come to know that is there any possibility of some sort of a debris coming in the glide path of the uh, particular satellite launch so if they get a indication that there is a possibility they delay the launch by one or two minutes it has happened in the past also Okay we leave it there thank you very much for joining us uh, Dr Ajay Lele